The Job Show is on the road this week. We're in Washington, D.C. to talk to lawmakers about what they are doing to create jobs in the Central Valley. The federal government and job creation in the Valley. That's what we're going to talk about now on Jobs. Major funding for jobs is provided by the Fresno County Department of Employment and Temporary Assistance, employing strategies for the 21st century. The Fresno County Workforce Investment Board, connecting employers with new employees through the Workforce Connection. Welcome to Jobs, nearly everybody's looking for one. A famous bank robber named Willie Sutton was once asked why he robbed banks, and he replied, because that's where the money is. And that's why we have brought the job show to Washington. This is where the money is. The funding for federal and many state and county job programs begins right here. And Washington is where decisions are made. The Workforce Investment Act, the National Farm Workers Job Program, and Welfare to Work are some of the programs created in Washington that impact the Central Valley. So we decided to bring the jobs program to our nation's capital and sit down with lawmakers face to face and ask them what they have done to help the Central Valley's depressed economy and what else they plan to do. Congressman Cal Dooley is serving his sixth term representing California's 20th district, which includes all of Kings County and parts of Fresno, Tulare and Kern counties. He was instrumental in the creation of a federal multi-agency task force on economic development in the Central Valley. We asked Congressman Dooley about the task force and other efforts to stimulate growth in the Valley. Well, the objective is, is to bring together a number of different federal agencies, whether it be Health and Human Services, whether it be Housing, whether it be U.S. Department of Agriculture, whether it be Commerce, uh, to see if we could bring them together and get them to understand the challenges that we face in the Central Valley so that our local community leaders would be more aware of some of the programs that these agencies are offering that could help in our efforts to expand our economic development. 